Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Good. How was your weekend? It was uh, great because I the, um, I take a, I took a, a day off the, on Sunday, uh, nice. so it's a, a beautiful to recover my energy. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good, good to hear. Very good. Where where, where did you go? No, that that is uh, uh, took a rest in the, in the in the in the Sunday, but the Saturday I was uh, I I went to the um, uh, Mary's uh, uh, party uh, about uh, one cousin is uh, I, uh, he got married, so I I I had to 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 share time in the on the on the Saturday. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. What about you? How was the weekend? You know, yesterday, and uh, I've been getting sick. I, I feel very bad right now. No, ah, not ah, yeah. like with my nose. I think I have the flu. I hope it's the flu and not, ah, it's, not something it's different. Bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but oh, other than that, it's OK. I, I okay. sleep a lot. OK. Did you repay your 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 internet sign up sign? Yeah, you know what happened is that um the Ethernet cable. Hey guys. Ah uh, yeah. Hey Gio, it's a, it was a little disconnected, so it was not it was it was not giving the signal to the to the repetidor. <laughs> ah okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sucked. But other than that, everything okay. Okay. What's up, Gio? How's your weekend? Uh, uh, with a lot of work, the usual. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, but that's did fine. you go out? No, not at all. Yeah. Hey, yeah. do you still play in the band? You don't play in bands anymore? Not right now. I'm I'm just composing alone in home. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but, I, but you oh consider my, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, my thing my thing mates my how do you say that? My, bandmates. My bandmates, yeah, my bandmate mates. Uh, they uh, they are like me, just composing in their own with their projects. Yeah. Do do you consider yourself in a band? What are you? The singer, guitarist, or you're everything? Uh when I compose, I normally I compose everything. Uh, I make the, the the bass lines, the guitar, uh, the guitar, the uh, even drums, and oh, really? Good. Or something. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. All right, Jaime, how are you? You are mute. No. Yeah. I'm mute. Hello. Your shirt, your shirt is cyan. Cyan color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fall in cyan color. <laughs> uh, you, you do. Look at your shirt. No, I see huh? that. Yeah, the new, new, new ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what about you, Michelle? Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. <laughs> well, I'm fine. Just ready to start learning. All right, cool. Michelle, do you have a camera? Yes, I do. Can you? Thank you. There okay. you go. Good. Now. now I see you. And Rosa. Hi, Rosa. You're on mute. You're on mute. Now, yes. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So, um, hey, did you watch the game yesterday? The yeah. Game? That was good. A little bit. It was a good game. Yeah, it was. My favorite part was the national anthem. So, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Jose Vasquez, are you there? 
Yes, yeah, hello. I'm uh, uh, here. Hi. Jose, do you have a camera? If we can turn it on, please. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, thank you. That's the new that's the new the new way of assistance from Insaford. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so where is everybody? Where is Jordana? Jordana. <laughs> the Jordana voices. Yes. <laughs> It's a special voice. Jordana has that voice like Alexa or um, or Cortana or Siri. Su Suri, what what is the <laughs> even she has a name like uh, one of those? <laughs> Jordana. Cortana. Yeah, even the name. Jordana. You know, yeah. she really she really should have been a um, she really should have been a DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay, let's continue. Let me open up the. Did you like that? That. I'm sorry. Who has who has the speaker? Somebody has the speaker and the cell phone at the same time. No. No. Oh, okay. Because you hear echo. I'm eating. But no speaking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they use the, 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 the Google the Google translation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me pull this up. So remember we're doing the classes, right? We're using <clears throat> while, unlike, and in contrast to. Correct? Um, yeah. Well, well yeah. last week, last week we did that. Remember? While I was here, my wife was there. And um, unlike, um, remember the, the San Miguel example? Yes. The tortillas is yeah. think. <laughs> yeah, unlike San Salvador, Migueleños eat the tortillas very thin. thin yes. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Um, let's do the knowledge check. Let me share my screen with you. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Amen. Hey, Gio, did you like that song, Heroin by Velvet Revolver? I'm um, Velvet Revolver. Heroin. Velvet Underground. Oh. They just send, send me that song, right? Yeah, that is very crazy that at yeah. the end is. Yeah, very crazy. You know, at the end, he gets the violin. I don't know what this is called, the stick. And that's how he plays the guitar. But it's like, yeah. uh, with the violin stick. Yeah. Yeah. Very crazy. Right, tell me if you guys see my wipe my, my whiteboard. I'm sorry, my <laughs> my screen. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys see it? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's do the knowledge check. <clears throat> Which I imagine you already did this, but let's do it anyway. All right, so we have Number one, it says, while most Americans live on their own before marriage, A, students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. People here don't usually have more than one TV, or people here usually live with their parents until they get married. Number C. Number C. How could it be number C? Yes, there's C. Number C? No. <laughs> no, letter, letter, letter C. Letter C. <laughs> yes, letter C. Yes. This is true. While most Americans live on their own before marriage, in El Salvador, people here usually live with their parents until they get married and after they get married. <laughs> <laughs> I have people in the 40s still in the parent house. And after they get married too. Yeah, and after they get married. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, my in-laws, my 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 wife's parents, they always tell us to go live with them. No. I I always tell my wife, if you want to go ahead, but I no. Please, no. <laughs> Number two, unlike unlike the average American student, A, students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. B, people here don't usually have more than one TV. Or C, pe people here usually live with their parents until they get married. A. A. Yes. Students here study either in the morning or the afternoon. Yes. High school, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm drinking tea because I feel a little a little sick today. Um, what is the different what is the normal hours for high school right now? From eight or seven to twelve or to one? I don't know. Eight to twelve, I think. Seven to twelve. Yeah, but it's not until one, right? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, okay. In contrast to most Americans, this has to be B, right? People yeah. don't usually have more than one TV. So, I don't know. I don't know no, how old see, how old this it. exam is because because in the Salvador, everybody has more than one TV. Yeah. Okay, number two, instructions, it says, type the conjunction that is being used in each sentence, use capital letters, not period, um, no period is needed. Why? Number one, why? Shouldn't there be a something here? Yeah. Yes, you have to. It's about the part one. Not type. Junction yeah. five on light and in contrast to like in contrast. In contrast. So then these are called conjunctions, right? Conjunctions. What, what is number two? On like. On like. Like. Number three. In contrast to. What is it? I'm sorry. In contrast to. Contrast. In contrast. Oh, Where the hell? Hold on. In syntactal. Stupid, stupid, smart speller. In contrast. In contrast is, is one. Uh, yes. In contrast only. Without the hmm? two? Yes. What without, without two. Only, only in contrast. Only in contrast. Mm -hmm. In contrast, yes. But you know what? Although it should be in contrast too. Yeah. Yeah. Can be both. No, it's always gonna have two. That's why I thought it was strange. Okay. Because you know you can never say in contrast, most Americans. No, in contrast mm -hmm. two. Two. Mm -hmm. It has to have two. All right. So yes, this is the correct. I mean, according to the exam, it's in contrast, the conjunction. But after in contrast, you always have to have two. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's... Next lesson. It says in this class section in in this class section participants will be able to talk about a typical student in the class and practice grammar lessons as well as to learn and practice using adjectives, verbs, phrases, relating to accepting things as they are or making changes. Let's see how this is. How typical are you? Do you understand the, the, the expression typical? Common? For example, uh, 
that okay, right. most people do if you are like them or different? Okay, okay. The characteristic that makes you unique. Okay, but let, let me give you an example. Like, have you have you ever, or do you know a person, or maybe it's you, that, that when something something goes wrong with you, let's say in your job, you get angry in your job, you get angry at the world. Like when you go home, you're angry. You're angry with your children. You're angry with your parents. You're angry with your spouse. And I'll give an example, okay? And this is... This is just an example that maybe is true. My wife, when she has a bad day, she comes home, she brings home that vibe and she's angry with everyone. Mm -hmm. So I always tell her that is so typical of you to always get angry with everybody when you are angry. Do you understand that expression? That is so typical of you. Plastica. It's always in that way. No, no, but it's, yeah, it's so typical of you. It's, it's so normal of you. It's so typical of you. You know, like... Um, um, that's so typical of you. It's like that's that's you normally. Okay. Uh, for example, what is something very typical of a Salvadorian? Oh, this. Excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Mm -hmm. oh. Or or. <laughs> and you say, "Oh my God, that's so typical of a Salvadorian person to do that." You understand? Yes. Yes. Can you can you tell me what is something so typical? What is something typical about? Or give me an example. What is something so typical about? Chapines. Your, Chapines. All right. Good. What is so typical about Guatemalans? Call call you boss. Okay. But although uh, in that case, because not only Chapines, you know, Salvadoreños, no. Argentinians, Uruguay, I think they all say boss. No, but, but, but the Chapines is common, it's typically. Yeah, they say, hola boss. Yeah, it's typical. <laughs> it, it's all the time, it's boss. It, it's typical. It, it doesn't matter if you are close or. or uh, oh, okay, okay. So they don't say usted. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, it's a boss. Okay, all right. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's something typical of El Salvador that people say, buen provecho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> typical. <laughs> bon appetit. You know, when you have a visitor, a visitor from another country, and they see, what are they doing? What, why, what is buen provecho? And you say, oh... It's typical here to say buen provecho when you see somebody eating. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the expression is typical of you, is typical of. Yes. Like oh, there's this one very difference from, from America, United States, and Salvadoreños. In El Salvador, it's typical that when you invite somebody, you pay. Mm -hmm. Correct? Right. Hey, if you invite me, you say, hey, let's go eat. Okay, good. You invite, you pay. <laughs> In the United States, no. Hey, let's go eat. Good. Check, please. 20. Okay. Lo mio is nine and yours is 11. <laughs> what? I think that the uh, Costa Rican people is typically is, is in you. They 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 give you your uh, postal postal number or you cut I don't know postal number number postal. No. I don't understand though. That uh, it's typical that the Costa Rican people 
Pues sí, ok, David, I invite you to call, when, when you come into Costa Rica, I invite you, but never uh, give it the, 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 the address. They give you the, the postal number of. Oh, okay. They give you the zip code. Yeah, zip code. Mm. Oh, really? Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so I think we understand what typical is, right? Okay, let's watch the video. Let's watch the video, 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 video. Oh yeah, I need to share from here. <clears throat> Can you hear? Tell me. Hi, how typical are you? To find out, complete this profile. Then share your answers with your class. Are you typical? I have never shopped online. I eat breakfast every morning. I have a full or part-time job. I have visited a foreign country. I use public transportation. I keep a daily personal diary. Now look at these adjectives, verbs, and phrases. Put them in the right column below, then share your answers in class. Should I just go with the flow? Adjectives, amenable, conservative, nonconformist, rebellious, and conventional. Verbs, accept, conform, conform to, confront, rebel, rebel against, stand up, stand up to, stand up for. Phrases, be your own person, challenge the status quo, fit in, follow the crowd, make waves. Now on your notebook, make a chart similar to this one and write the adjectives, verbs and phrases under the right column. And conventional. Okay, Jordana, welcome. What is amenable? I think it's someone like sociable. Can, like, you Google, can you Google it, please? For sure. <laughs> you have not Googled it. I'm surprised. But I, I guess it's like friendly. Yeah. There's, it's similar in Spanish, right? The word. I guess. Agreeable, willing. A nice uh, person. Responsible. Yes. A positive person. So that means if, if you're in a place, that person is happy. If so you we, need a friend, that person will be your friend. If if you need help, that person will help. So that person is very amenable. Okay. Then we have conservative. And you follow follow the rules? Yes, it's amenable. Ah. I mean, yeah, amenable is anything positive. Yes. Like um, Naib Bukele is an amenable president. <laughs> Look at him, he's eating, that's why he can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Continue eating, you will choke, Jaime. Don't, don't say it. No, I'm joking. Okay, next we have conservative. <laughs> Rosa Navas, can you give me an example using conservative, please? When you follow the uh, rules, is uh, or 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 not or conventional only. Follows the the rules, I think. Okay. All right, but let's see. Oh, Madeline's here. Rosa, can you give me an example using conservative? Usually, the elders are are conservative. Good. Are you a conservative person in some in some parts? Yes, in some parts, I think. Yes. And I'm sorry, it's not in some parts, in some ways. In some oh, ways, I'm conservative. I consider, you, my, consider myself conservative. Okay, can you give me an example where you consider yourself conservative in some ways? For example, in the dress. Okay. I am usually don't use, and I, I never use, I mean, a skirt. Okay, very good. So that's a very good example. So 
I consider myself conservative in dressing. Dressing, okay. Okay, very good example. I consider myself conservative in marriage. Not the example. It's true. <laughs> it's conservative. True. <laughs> it's conservative as uh, traditional. No, but you know the conservative thought about marriage is to be pure until you get married. In in in, in our culture, that is the conservative way, right? Yes. But okay. Is that like traditional? Yeah, because yes. I know. You know, you know, conservative nowadays is called old school. Old school. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think, you know what? I think I am conservative when it comes to, to men things. <laughs> like, um, like I will never, I will never pluck my, my eyebrows or I will never, I will never get a manicure or a pedicure or, or masks. Maybe, may, I, 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 I will never pay for that. Like, for example, I'm very conservative in that. I like it old school. Like why? Why? I don't know. I, I don't know. Good question. Because maybe, maybe I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You are afraid to that other people think different of you. No, of course. Of, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying it's bad, but like, <laughs> like, like now I see, I see children, I, I see kids with the suits and the skinny pants, but like, yeah. like really skinny, skinny pants. Like, uh, hey, for example, you stay in, in in your in your work, and they say, okay, mañana, tomorrow, I'm going to I don't know to raise me my my. I don't know, my nail. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, for example, you say, if you are with, with your, your friend and saying, okay, uh, tomorrow I, I need to go uh, to the Salon de Belleza, say. Beauty Salon. Beauty Salon to, to do my, my nail. And this friend is a boy or a girl? No, or you. Oh no no uh, okay that that you yeah, never... they, they, but 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 there, there are people going to <laughs> yes to, I don't no, know no there are there are yeah that yeah that's I think something I will never do or maybe he, but, he, but he, I, no I he, 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 if you never do that this uh, this thing you are conservative mm -hmm. yes yes so yes we all have something conservative yes. Ricardo, are you conservative? Yes, uh, I, I, you, I think. Are, this, are you the so, gentleman? So, are you the gentleman? In some way, in some way, you are, you are conservative. Yes, but uh, the other I, I, I have to some change the idea because uh, we have to improve. Uh, I, I work in in, in a um, uh, man, management of mejora continua, so. I don't know in English. Getting but, better. Uh, getting better. Getting better is uh, is uh, my job. I have to uh, to 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 encourage the others for them to course. get better, to get better. It's I, I think not, not traditional. I I I, I don't. I, I am not traditional. No, no, of course, of course. I I think I think um. Conserv conservative full like fully conservative people today is like Rosa said are elderly people ah uh, yes mm -hmm. but but I think we all have a little conservative way inside we all do yes um, like me I am conservative for me uh, if my father needs me and if he, if he wants to live with me, because my idea is, okay, my parents helped me when I was born, they will help, I will help them now. And, and I hope my son does the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I stop working. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Jordana, do you like conservative men? Do you still, well, you're married, but imagine you're not. Do you still like men that open the door for you? Yes. And bring, bring you a rose? Yeah. Well, yes, to be, to, how do you say, to be detallista? Like, de I will not say detail, but how will yeah, you say that? I like a man that has details. That has details. Okay. Yes. Good. And that's very strange to find. Yes. Yeah. It is. I don't even know when my anniversary is or when my wife's birthday is. That's why I love Facebook. Because okay. when I when I forget, I go into her webpage. <laughs> I know it's in September, but I don't I just I don't remember if it was like 15, 16, 17, 18, but I know so much. You know, I used to remember that that now, like after five years, uh, as he showed he didn't care about it. So I said, Oh, I won't care it either. So now <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not that we don't care. We just forget. <laughs> yes, I do. I do, too. I forget now. Oh, now you forget. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's conservative. But nowadays, even, even the word conservative, does, people don't use it anymore. Okay, like, like I told you, um, like um, Rosa. Rosa gave a good example. She said she's still conservative in her dressing in the way she dresses. Today, she can say, I am old school in, in, in when I dress. You can say that too. Or, I mean, that's what people say today, old school. All right, and after conservative, we have nonconformist. I, I, I think that's very similar in Spanish, right? Nonconformist. Mm -hmm. So that, that we don't. Never, never. It's nonconformist all the time. Yeah, I politicians here are nonconformists. I'm sorry? I think nonconformist is when you work hard for your goals. But mm -hmm. it's not enough. Yes, when you. When you work hard for to get your goals. Yes, but that's not nonconformist because nonconformist is when you work hard, but it's not enough. You want more and more and more okay. and more. Okay. <laughs> like uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, Alejandro the Great, Alexander the Great, that idiot. He wow. had all of Europe and he wanted more and more. And look, India okay. killed him. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think like like um like imagine Hitler. Hitler is a very, very good example. Yeah. Um a chapel. Oh my god, he had all the money in the world for 100 generations. Why continue that life? Just disappear. But that's not conformist. Okay, next we have rebellious. What is rebellious? When you don't follow the rules. Okay. It sounds to Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter was a rebellious. <laughs> yes, it's true, that's rebellious. And next we have unconventional. Or to resist a authority. The opposite of conservative. But if, okay, um, if let's if you were to give me a dictionary definition of unconventional, what would it be, Giovanni? Because I know that you can't be looking at Google right now. Mm -hmm. Because of the distance I see you're from. Are you... <laughs> it... Conventional is something that is not. not okay, let, let, let's say, let's, let's do one thing. Let's not say something because this, let's say somebody. Okay, somebody who makes things in a different way. 
than the others do. Very good. Okay, very good. Anything else? Mm. Anyone? 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 You know, that's a that's a very good exercise when you want to study or practice English. Now that you guys speak very good English, but if you want to practice your, your speaking, like unconventional. Hmm. Maybe it's a person you can't convince. I seen uh, who or a person difficult to convince. Oh no. Or oh, is a people doing not not normal uh I don't know. Uh, no, uh, it doing not normal uh, thing or 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 have a uh, is have a uh, use or have a different as knowledge is uh, not normal. Um, give an example. Mm, that the people, for example, you you, you have to work. Uh, you you it's typically you have to work every day, and stay at uh, in your work at eight a.m. But there are some people. It, it's not. It, it's a people that not the uh, comply with this schedule. In that case, I think that's not an unconventional person. That's a a responsible person, maybe. No, but look, it's simple. An unconventional really. person is somebody really. who doesn't believe. Not really, but, but, but comply with this, uh, with result, no? Okay, but listen, look at the verb. What verb do you think comes from unconventional? Convince. Convince. Really? It comes yeah. from convince? convince. Yes. I thought it was conventional and uh, unconventional no. was something not conventional. Yeah, not conventional. Okay, look. <laughs> I don't have an idea about that. Unconventional. unconventional. Not based on conforming to what is generally done or believed. Okay. Okay, so yes, Jaime does have a good point. If 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 your boss if I am a boss and I tell you, be here at eight, at eight, at eight, you put the mask, you're never gonna be here at eight. You're an unconventional person. That's because you don't do, you don't do what you're told to. Believe, I have a very big reaction when I tell people that I don't believe in God because, oh my God, man, I have everybody in my life. I have people that come to me with a Bible I'm going to convince you. And they never convince me. They won't. In fact, they walk out of my house angry because. Because I like you them. convinced them. <laughs> because I convinced them that I might be right. <laughs> <laughs> because I start contradicting them with questions and they just say, well, you know, at the end, um, <laughs> la palabra dice de que no hay que, jugar, no hay que preguntarse de Dios because he knows what he's doing. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> no, no, but you know, and, and, and I tell people, you know, I mean, someday I might will have a religious uh, miracle experience personally, and then I will be convinced. But for, for the moment, I'm not. So that's an unconventional person. Like, like in this moment, uh, children are very unconventional. Uh, whoever has children, how many times do you have to tell them? Put away your toys. Put away your toys. What other way? The, the routine, oh, they never God. found a routine. That's a headache. That's true. Yes. Uh huh. And that that's because your children or your child is maybe unconventional. So unconventional is two things. People that they will not do a routine or they won't believe. <laughs> Like, like, um, yes, in, in generally speaking, like there's a trend in this moment, there's a trend to always contradict um, the president. Because if he does something, everything he does is if it's good or bad, he's always going to have haters. Yeah. You know, so it's, these are very unconventional people. I always tell them, so what do you think is, 
you know, like, uh, I can imagine, like, Naivo Kelly accepts Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Uh, you finished the country. The country's finished. But hmm. the same people, if naive Bukele rechaza Bitcoin, oh my God, you're so stupid. Why did you, why <laughs> did you reject the Bitcoin? You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are unconvincible people. Yeah, um, I don't like sometimes unconventional people. I really don't like people when they don't when they don't accept and they are wrong. They are wrong. What is wrong? wrong? Wrong. Oh, wrong. Wrong. Sorry. Because I think if you, you know, this is a job interview, okay? Listen, in a job interview, they ask you, what is one of your biggest skills? And I always say, I think one of my b biggest skills is I always accept when I am wrong. Mm. I do. And my bad skill is I don't like people that don't accept what they're wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's like Messi is the best. Lo siento. <laughs> ¿Verdad, Ricardo? Yes. <laughs> Bar right. Bar Barcelona is the best team ever. No. <laughs> yes, I think I am agree with you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so th that's unconventional, yes? Conventional. Mm -hmm. Or can you give me an example of unconventional, Giovanni? Or invent an example. You, you I, see, I was you... I was thinking that I have a, a, a wrong concept of unconventional because I thought the unconventional was a, a something you do in a different ways that the other people do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I I, I was wrong. <laughs> But you know, in a way, it's true, because you do it in a different way. You're mm -hmm. not doing it the, the the way the conventional way. You're doing it the unconventional way. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, I could say, <clears throat> sorry, maybe like before the pandemic, it was unconventional to work from home. Mm -hmm. Is that uh -huh. um, unconventional? Work style that based was working on from home. For me, to what is generally done or believe. Yeah. yeah. Conforming. Do you see it in, in the chat? And can't they chat now? Hey, I come and answer, let me chat. Hey. I see it on the screen. Oh, but you see it on the screen? Yes. Oh, yes. So I was copying and paste on the chat. Okay, you see, look, not based on confirming to what generally is done. So this is your idea, Giovanni, doing things differently. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's correct. It's like what Jaime was saying. Done or believe. Okay. Now, the belief part, it was like what I was saying about me. Yeah. In conventionals, I'm not, I don't, you don't, you can't convince me very easily. But it's fascinating to talk, but it's, you can't convince me very easy. And um, uncle, it's confirming to what is generally done. So like, uh, what is an unconventional marriage in El Salvador, like, oh my God, I met this girl and we got married in two days. Do you know her parents? No. Do you know her family? No. Do you know where she lives? No. I just know I love her. Mm -hmm. Imagine, right? That's unconventional. That's very yeah, unconventional, man. Unconventional. That, that's not the way to do it because, <clears throat> and, and there are people who have done it. Probably. You know who's like that? I think Andres Garcia. Do you know Andre Garcia, the actor? Yeah. He, he's his wife, even his wife now. He in an interview he said that he met his wife and in three days they got married after he met her. And they're still married. Three days. That's so cool. Yeah, but he's an actor and has money, money and so how 
No, no, but but he they got married when he wasn't an. I mean, when he was like normal. He wasn't that famous. Yeah. <laughs> right now, right now, I think any millionaire can have that situation. Like, yeah. Oh my God! I met the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? Where uh, did you meet her? First... Oh, she came to my yacht. <laughs> uh, oh. I think they be the unconventional is when some people have a different attitude or different behavior or whatever that is, sometimes is a is unconventional like like a normal people that is thinking but some people have a unconventional uh, attitude behavior or think, think different yes. from people. Yes, like that's it. Unconventional is like people that. Don't do the things in the conventional way or don't believe things in the conventional way. That's that's unconventional. So it has a little to do with conservative. Yeah. Because if, you, if you're conservative, you're conventional. Correct? Mm, not really. <laughs> no, if you are conservative, you if are, you are conservative, you are conventional. it's very likely that you do things the conventional way, like the correct way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not always, but the it's, it's a very way. probable. Uh, uh, not always, yeah. Yes, not always. Like like right now with this generation, you know, there's uh, millenniums. <laughs> They're very unconventional people. You know, the, the youth, the youth today is very difficult. You know, like they go to psychologists for no reason. <laughs> oh my God, mi papá me pegaba con el cincho when I was small. Yo soy traumado. <laughs> I tell people, my dad used to put me in a pickup alone and I was five. All he said is, agarrate bien, you know, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're happy. And we're happy, yes. My dad used to give me beer when I was little. <laughs> well, a little bit, but. Yeah, but, he need... <laughs> yeah, but enough. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do the next page. Oops. Do you think... Oh. Oh, yeah, the listening part. Let's listen to Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne. Who says, do you think Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne believe they are more typical or different for most people their age? Right beside, besides their names? Yes. Whether, wait, wait, right beside, it should be beside. This, they always have mistakes here. Right besides their names, whether they are different or typical. Do not use capital letter or periods. All right, let's do it. Do you think Yoshiko, Renato, and hear? Suzanne believe they are more typical or different yes. from most people their age? One, Yoshiko. In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. Excuse me. Um, she says something very, very, important here that we have in practice and this is very common in English usa la expresión the typical the typical ladies Janita Katie Madeline Rosa Jordana why well, no Jordana's married Harry are you married no oh very cool Janita are you married no all right, Madeline. I'm Madeline. single. All right. Rosa, <laughs> well, my question is, ladies, what is the typical line that men use to mm. flirt when they want to flirt with you? Let's see. 
Do you see my expression? What is the typical line? Do you have a boyfriend? No. Why? You're so beautiful. Why are you so beautiful here? Yeah, okay, good. That's Why are you still line. single? <laughs> Why are you single if you're so beautiful? Oh, if I were your boyfriend. <laughs> but you that, are not. <laughs> but you're not. That's the typical answer. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. What is the typical lie that married men say? I'm not married. Single. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting divorced. I'm oh, getting yeah. divorced. <laughs> I am with her for the kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting divorced now. We're in the process of divorcing. Yes. Okay, good. That's the typical lie. The typical. You see that expression? The typical, the typical. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Remember before when we were little kids, uh, the typical Saturday would be watching cartoons, Saturdays and. Um, Saturday morning. Jardín Infantil, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, yes. Remember Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. eh, Mandibulín. Mandibulín. <laughs> Capitán Cavernícola, Ultraman. Yeah, those yeah. were the typical. <laughs> you know, one time I was watching Ultraman and Sanko Kai on, on video on YouTube. Sanko Kai. And that is so fake. I'm, oh my God, how could I like this? <laughs> it's so horrible, it's so ugly. And I said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but that was we had. <laughs> yes, that's what we had. But now when I watch him, I go, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Capitan Ultra? Capitan Ultra, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. There was a was like, I don't know what the Vandels. The the band band yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but those were Sanku Kai too, right? Yeah. They they were Arabic, I think, or something, and they had Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so those were the typical cartoons we used to watch. Okay, so listen to what she says again. I am your typical teenager. Yes. Like, remember, when we were teenagers, I think, except Jose, when we were teenagers, a typical afternoon for us was sitting in a corner, just talking. <laughs> yes, now typical teenagers sit in a corner and they don't talk, they just chat. Yeah. Or in fact, they can sit next to each other and they're chatting instead of talking. Right. Oh, okay. Look, listen, in that I am conservative. I hate going to a place and people are chatting on the phone, the people I am with. Right, me too. I said, really, man? Really? You're going to chat? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like you go to the movies and they're always chatting. It, and when you look at them, you just see people chatting. Hmm. The thing is, is when you don't respect our people. Yes, that's very disrespectful. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. So in that case, I am I am a little conservative. I am old school. I I don't do it. I, I like to turn my phone off. But I don't turn it off. I, I just I don't put it on the table. Okay, so let's listen to this lady then. This girl, the teenager. There is no sound. You can't hear? No. Nope. No. You are not sharing the screen anymore. Oh, okay, that's why. Sorry about that. Yeah. There you go. There's, uh... Jose Vasquez, how old are you? Uh, I am 21 years old. 21. Yes. Cool. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, not right now. 
Do you know that before, a long, long time ago, when I was like 18, I had to go to a corner to call my girlfriend on a public phone mm -hmm. to say good night. But it was cool, though, because she actually thought that I was going to sleep. <laughs> so, good night, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. Pero si son las seis, yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. Bye. And then I call my friends. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's difficult with WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jose Vasquez, in our time, it was better. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it was easier. Okay, let me see. All right. What happened? How come she... Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. Can you hear Do you right think now? Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne yes. believe they are more the typical sounds. or different from most people their age? Can you hear? One. Yes, Yoshiko. In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first, but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently and I made a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. Two, Renato. I don't know. My life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at seven in the morning and school finishes around the middle of the afternoon. After school, I usually study or play soccer. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping centers. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun, most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to, to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them, but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. Three, Suzanne. Mm, I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from other schools in the U.S., though. We study all the core subjects like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike the other schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning about the arts. So, yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. All right, did you understand? Do you have any questions or curiosity? No. Try to use those expressions, a typical. Uh, what is, when you think of a question using a typical, like, let me give you an example. What is a typical day in your life? Oh, a typical day in my life is I wake up at five in the morning, I leave at 5.30, I work from six to four, I come back, I play with my son, and come in here and teach. That is a typical day in my life. 
where you can say, what is a typical family reunion for you in, in your life? <laughs> oh, you know, a typical family reunion is my family getting drunk and then fighting. Yeah. Example, but there are some people that do that. <laughs> what What is a typical Christmas for you? Or what was a typical first Christmas when you were a little kid? Because this is different. I, I imagine, Yanira, your typical Christmas. I'm sorry, Yanira, how old are you? 33. 33. Yes. What, what was a typical Christmas when you were 15? Mm, meet with all the family, with my brother, my sister, and my nephews and niece, and take a dinner, and after them... Did you mm, buy new clothes? Yes. Yes. And Because have you noticed that that tradition is like disappearing? Like now people don't care about the clothes. <laughs> Yeah, in this moment, I don't care about the clothes. Yeah, but yeah, not like now, huh? but. Yes, yes I, 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 I vote. Yeah, everybody was like excited about wearing the new pants and then, you know. Yeah. And, and you, you know, you're cool. I think it's difficult to listen to music and dance with the family. For my family, it's difficult to do that. And at midnight, do a pray. Okay. And they eat eat um chicken sandwich, right? Chicken sandwich. Mm, for me no, because in my family we are not typical in that way. Uh, oh, really? we don't we don't like chicken or or turkey. I we don't like that. <laughs> wow, that's 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 interesting. That's very that's yes. very strange. Okay, so that, what do, what do you guys see? That's unconventional. I, um, Ah, very good that's unconventional yeah. yes because we have a, a farmer a farm with chickens and we we kill oh. a lot of chickens in that in that in christmas or new years and we don't have time to prepare a dinner with chicken and we don't like chickens in my house anyone that doesn't that like chicken. Yeah, it's understandable. Yes. Yeah, if you have a chicken, uh, a chicken farm, you you don't want to see chicken anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that that's cool. <clears throat> but that, that's kind of strange because, like, a typical Christmas in El Salvador, you have to have chicken or turkey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So very good. That's the expression. A typical. So, Yoshiko is what? Different. 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 Renato? Typical. 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 Yes. Excuse me, I really feel bad. Okay. I, I'm. Renato's typical, right? And Suzanne? Yeah. Different. 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 So in this case, the topic is Christmas in El Salvador. Yanira is typical, different? Different. Different. She's different. Yeah, she's different. <laughs> it's about it's a very um no that's a good example right there. Yanita's different. Now remember, different doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's just different. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes different is nice. It's interesting. I like different people. I love meeting different people. All right. Okay, class. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. We'll continue. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Good you too. Night. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.